welcome to pk maths channel this is the first puc last minute revision by pk maths so in this revision we are discussing about five marks three marks two marks one marks and very very important questions while going to the exam before three four hours or before five to six hours or before one day before the last minute what to listen what to understand what to remember what to focus and what to revise one second those questions we will discuss the first question i am discussing with you in uh, permutation combinations find the number of arrangements of the letters of the word independence in how many ways of these arrangements number 1 do the words start with p do all the vowels always occur together do the all vowels never occur together do the words begin with i and end with p this is the five mark question if you go to the second question in limits chapter limit extends to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 this is a very important proof this proof also i discussed in pk maths channel in the previous video of uh, pk maths channel you can find in first pc maths limit extends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1 next uh, out of these three functions in relation functions chapter signum function modulus function or greatest integer function out of these three one compulsory they will ask so what you can remember in the signum function modulus function greatest integer function is definition of those functions graph of those function domain and range of those three functions out of these three one will appear in uh, first puc maths exam the next question is uh, prove that cos of x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y this is also very important question from exam point of view this is there in trigonometry either this question will give for 5 marks or for 6 marks which one prove that cos x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y one more important question in uh, first pc max is compulsory 100% it will come in the examination is state and prove binomial theorem so binomial theorem proof also we discussed in uh, pk maths channel in the previous videos the complete binomial theorem we discussed complete proof of binomial theorem you see in pk maths channel you can go through that once so the easiest way to solve the easiest way to do binomial theorem also explained in pk maths channel you can go to the proof even cos x plus y is equal to cos x minus cos minus cos x cos y minus sin x sin y proof also i discussed in pk maths channel next the question if you see in five marks is this is very important even in permutation if they given they will not give that question they can give this question in combination this question is there what is number of ways of choosing four cards from a pack of 52 playing cards in how many of these question number 1 four cards are of the same suit question number 2 four cards belongs to four different suits question number 3 are face cards question number 4 two red cards and two black cards question number 5 cards are of the same color so this is an expected question from combinations most of the time this time particularly in uh, first pc final exam that is the combinations cards question next question if you see next question uh, if you see this is uh, prove the distance of a point from a line it is a straight lines question prove that the distance of a point from a line is uh, d is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c by root of a square plus b square it's a straight lines very important five mark question you can draw diagram under steps and or for this question another question in five marks that is statistics question 0 to 30 30 to 60 60 90 90 120 120 150 150 90 180 to 210 they given frequency 2 3 5 10 3 5 2 2 they are asking to find the mean and variance of the following distribution the mean and variance of the following distribution question this is also very important in first puc in the last minute uh, revision if they will not ask uh, mean deviation about mean or median then they can ask uh, mean and variance of the following distribution question if you see the another question for 6 marks maybe they can ask for these two questions out of these two one question will appear for 6 marks that is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal 1 that is in ellipse proof or x square by a square minus y square by b square equal 1 that is hyperbola proof out of ellipse and hyperbola one question will appear in the final examination of first pu come back to three more questions and still more five more questions all there i'll explain in the next coming uh, questions first i will dictate what are the very important questions that is three more question once i am saying to you in permutation combinations once three more question Prove that NCR plus NCR minus one equal to N plus one CR. It's a small proof in uh, 
and very very important proof in uh, combination permutation combination chapter another question what you can uh, go through in the last minute is right root 5 plus 3a in polar form polar form is very important questions in complex numbers for three marks so polar form question compulsory they will give a root 3 plus root 5 plus 3a in a polar form is also one important question and you need to focus in last minute if you see the relation functions so how find the relation and uh, find domain and range question uh, they maybe they can ask this question r equal x comma x plus 5 x belongs to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, right r and right domain and range either they will ask this question or x comma x cube x is a even uh, prime number like that one question is there out of these two questions one question will appear in uh, three marks uh, in first puc final examination come back to the next question what we need to discuss is uh, maybe in trigonometry they can ask one more question that is uh, cosecant of minus 1410 degrees it's a one more question they will ask Come back to the next question. Find sine 15 or tan 15. It is a two mark question in trigonometry. Sine 15 degrees how to find means sine 45 minus 30 sine a minus b formula. Tan 15 means tan 45 minus 30. If they will not give 15, they will give 75. Then you can take 45 plus 30 sine of a plus b or tan of a plus b formula. Come back to next question in uh, three marks. Prove that cos 6 is equal to 32 cos power 6 minus 48 cos power 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. It's a second x, a third x is in trigonometry. The last one, three, four questions are very important. I wrote only one question, but you can go through. Uh, third x is in trigonometry. Last four, five questions are very important. Come back to another question in trigonometry. This is a trigonometric equations question. Solve sin 2x minus sin 4x plus sin 6x is equal to 0. It is also very, very important from exam point of view in first PUC. Sin 2x minus sin 4x plus sin 6 is a trigonometric equations question. They will ask for three mark this question. Come back to next question in trigonometry. Maybe they will ask this question also for 3 marks. Cos square x plus cos square x plus pi by 3 plus cos square x minus pi by 3 is equal to 3 by 2. It is a miscellaneous example question in textbook if you see. This question also they ask more number of times. So it's also important question. Come back to another question in 3 marks. Maybe the, this, this may not be they can ask. Because we have in Pernathman induction only 5 marks. But if they given... Prove that a b whole power n equal to a power n b power n by principle of mathematical induction, but rarely they will ask this question. But uh, the expected question in mathematical induction uh, 1 by 2.2 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 8 plus uh, 1 by 8 into 11 plus 1 so on plus 1 by 3 n minus 1 into 3 n plus 2 is equal to n by 6 n plus 4. Prove this by principle of mathematical induction. This is a 5 mark question in mathematical induction. Mathematical induction, if they given any question, the procedure is same. First substitute in place of n 1. Next, you can uh, assume that uh, n is equal to k and prove n plus 1 is true. So, you can follow mathematical induction the same type of procedure. Come back to linear inequalities, uh, three, 2 marks question. Solve 3 into x minus 2 by 5 less than or equal to 5 into 2 minus x by 3. So, this model questions are there, 3 to 4 questions are there in textbook. Out of that questions, uh, one question compulsory will ask in the final exam. It's a last minute revision. The 5 marks, another very, very important question is uh, solve graphically. 2x plus y greater than or equal to 4, x plus y less than or equal to 3, or 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 6, 5 marks. I given one question in this model, may or may not be this will come, but if it will come, very nice. Uh, but I hope this model question, 3 equation question, they will ask for uh, 5 marks in linear inequalities. Come back to another question uh, in uh, last minute revision is, uh, uh, compulsory question will ask from uh, quadratic equations, 3, 3x square minus root 2x plus 3 root 3 equal to 0, or similar model question also will uh, come. But quadratic equation compulsory one two mark question will come in the final exam. This is a very simple question. One by six factorial plus one by seven factorial is equal to x by eight factorial. Find the value of x. It's a one mark question. So this is a shortcut for this. That here eight is there. Eight square is sixty four. You will get. Suppose ten is given. Ten square hundred. This is a shortcut. One mark given means uh, you can write directly. No need to hesitate to write answer directly. Because if you write steps also, if you write directly also, they will give full marks only. Another question in important is find r. 5 into 4 PR is equal to 6 into 5 PR minus 1. They can ask this question in permutation, maybe 2 marks. Another important question, last minute revision, find the middle term of, this is from binomial theorem, find the middle term of x by 3 plus 9y whole power 10. It's a binomial theorem question, last minute revision from first PUC. 25th, uh, insert 6 numbers between uh, 3 and 24 in AP. Either insert 6 numbers in AP or in GP. Out of those 2 questions, 1 question will appear in the final exam. These are for 2 marks in sequence series chapter. Very, very important sequence series chapter. Compulsory they will ask in any exam is uh, 
find sum of the sequences of 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 and so on this question is very important from exam point of view 100% they will ask this type of model question either they will give 7 or they will give 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 and so on that model another important very useful compulsory they will ask question find the equation of line passing to the points minus 1 comma 1 2 comma minus 4 by for this question you can use uh, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus 1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 formula that model compulsory or y minus y1 equal m into x minus x1 point slope form question also they will ask or intercept form out of these three one question will appear in straight lines another question find the equation of circle with center 1 1 and radius is root 2 it is a one mark question from uh, circles in uh, conic sections another important question from last minute revision is uh, Find the equation of parabola passing through the point 2 comma 3 and uh, axis along x axis. This is also a very important question in uh, uh, parabola. This model question will appear in the last minute revision. You can follow. And very compulsory 100% will question uh, from 3D geometry. Prove that section formula. You know section formula already. Section formula compulsory mx2 plus nx1 plus n comma my2 plus n1 my plus n comma mz2 plus nz2 my plus n. Section formula compulsory question they will ask. Another very very important compulsory will ask you prove that root 11 is irrational by method of contradiction. They can give root 5, root 7 or root 11 anything by method of contradiction is compulsory question in the final exam in the first PE. Another important question is 32 P, P of E, probability of E, probability of F is given, probability of E and F given find probability of erf and probability of not e and not f with this in uh, statistics they will ask uh, one more question that is uh, cv find cv co coefficient of variation sigma by x bar into 100 that poor question also will ask in statistics these are the very important question if you follow this question definitely will pass in first pc there is no hesitation for uh, any student just in the last minute uh, we are helping to you at least these questions if you follow 100% will pass in first PE for more videos follow PK Maths channel subscribe it press bell button for regular updates thank you for watching this video